Hey there guys, Ralph here of 4K Equipment. Today we're going to be doing a setup for the Leica Icon ICR70 Total Station Kit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Total Station on there and then get the Rover rod ready. So I've got the tablet on the rod here on the left and then I've got my Total Station here over on the right. Real quick when mounting this guy up on here, um, the Tri-Brock knobs, you want to get in line with the legs just to be as helpful as possible for getting that bubble level in there. Um, you actually don't have to get it perfect. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a little off to the side. You don't have to get it perfect. Uh, whenever we Bluetooth connect to it, there'll be a digital compensator and it'll have us spin these knobs to get perfect. Um, don't forget your battery pops in the side. Just like that. It pops in and then just hold the power button for a second. And that guy will turn on. Alrighty, now that the total station is turned on, um, another little tip is to make sure that antenna on the back side is flipped up for the Bluetooth connection. Um, we're gonna come over here to our tablet. First things first, we gotta make sure our jobs are loaded in properly. Um, we have our project and then our job here as well. I just have a little test project and job for our parking lot here. Um, I'll probably have to make another video for any problems uh, bringing jobs in. But uh, the next step is to connect via Bluetooth to our total station. So we're going to go down to device profiles. And then you see that first one is selected. We're going to actually click on it again. And then it's going to Bluetooth connect to our device over here. And here at the top, you can see that it did actually connect as it's showing us a rod height and some of our settings so what you have to do is go into any of our applications we're going to go into layout points here and the next step is we have to make sure that it is level I can tell right now it's not level by the level under here let me see if you can see that yes you can so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tripod and then I'm gonna set it right in front of our total station All right, now that I have the tablet on the bipod right in front, what I'm gonna do is click the setup button, which is right here in the center bottom. Once I click that, it gives me options of where I want to actually set up the total station on the site. Um, anywhere is what I'm gonna end up using, just to show this demo that you can put it anywhere. Um, if you have a known point, you can do that much faster as well. So we're gonna select anywhere. It's gonna take me into the calibration here where on the screen it has me a little bottom left here so I'm gonna come up here and as I spin this knob in real time it's gonna tell me which direction to move it and I'm turning this very slowly because tiny movements actually change it a lot alrighty I've got three green arrows so I'm gonna hit the next which is this yellow button up here and instrument height we're going to leave it zero we're not going to set it up as a control point our reflector height we do have this at six feet so that's fine too use elevations prompt for setup and check time and we're going to hit next all right now that we have the total station leveled which you can see up here at the top left here's how you re-level it if it ever gets out of level it'll tell you level and compensator we got three checks so we're gonna hit the check mark um, before we can actually select a point and start uh, actually telling the software where the total station is we need to have a lock with the prism and the total station so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move uh, about 10 feet away at the very least usually it's a little bit more and now that I'm about this far away I'm gonna come over here and have the total station search for me and what i'm going to do is here where it shows your rod height and your prism we're going to hit that search function and this little wheel pops up so you have your search wheel you have your controls where you can manually control it from here um, i'm just going to hit to the left because i am as it spins just to the left and it did actually find me i'm going to come back to the screen and it says prism found, so I do have a lock over here. 
now that I'm locked on, I'm actually going to go to my first um, survey point. I'm going to use that. Grab one to tell the system where the total station is on site. All right, I am now leveled up on our grab one point here, as you can see. And so from here, I'm going to click start in the bottom right. And then I'm going to hit store as it has this point selected up here. And I heard an audible beep and it says that point is now stored. So now I'm going to need to select my second point as the menu at the top is telling me. So I'm going to go over to my grav 2 which is our second survey point. And I'm going to go over there and line up as well. All right, now that I am lined up on my grav 2 at the top right there, it's what I have selected. I'm going to hit start. And then store. And the point is stored. Now, technically, I am all set up. So if I come down here to the bottom left, I'll have these three buttons. I'll have a check mark, an X, and then a finished button. And here are my two points, and here are the actual errors in my measurements. So I've got less than a sixteenth on grav one horizontally. My elevation's off by an eighteenth. Then grav two is a sixteenth horizontally, and then an eighth elevation. And after we hit the check mark down here, we are now completed after this check mark as well. The setup station has finished. The new station coordinate and orientation will be saved. And there you have it. Your total station is now set up on site. So now if we come over here, it's on our site in the right spot. We can start laying out points and going to where we want to go. Right now it's telling me I'm still on grav two because I am. But uh, if you want to pick out another point like 39 uh, it'll have us walk over there and set that point up and there you go your total station is now set up on site